What's going on everyone? First I just want to give a huge thank you to all of you guys, all of my viewers. You guys have been very supportive and my channel is actually growing at a rapid rate thanks to you guys. Because of that, I'm on track to hit 1000 subs in just a few short weeks. So as a thank you, I'm going to be doing a giveaway to one lucky sub. On July 10th of 2019, this year, I'm going to be giving away a Razer peripheral to one lucky sub. The winner will get to choose from five Razer Synapse 3 capable devices. I'm going to be announcing the winner through Razer Keyboard Lighting. And I'm also going to be giving the winner an exclusive download link for that lighting design. And I'm also thinking about giving away an exclusive keyboard lighting design to five other individuals who are runner ups. So make sure you hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notifications. That way you guys see who wins the 1000 sub giveaway. For today's video, I got into a discussion with a viewer the other day we discussed some keyboard lighting designs about Mario and Luigi. This viewer's name is Aaron Merriman. And what I basically came up with is the design that follows. We're gonna get right into this video. This is Mario Luigi. All right, so here we go with Mario and Luigi. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start off by changing this effect layer to a static. We're gonna select all of our keys and we're gonna make a white static. This is just gonna be our base layer. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that white a, a bit darker. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to add in a new layer and we're gonna do the audio meter right off the bat. And what we're gonna do with audio meter is we're gonna select all of our keys, click on your color gradient bar, and you're gonna choose a two-tone gradient right here. On the first node, you're gonna have an invisible node, and on the very end, you're gonna have a white one. And that looks good. What I like to do with my settings to make it pop more is drag these down to 0.25 and click auto. You guys might have different settings depending on how loud your audio is, but this is what works best for me. So now that we're done with the audio meter, I'm going to go ahead and start with the, the waves that change from red to green. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new wave layer and we're just gonna select all of the keys on our keyboard here. Click that color gradient drop down, and we're going to choose a five tone wave, five nodes. And we're gonna do this right here. We're gonna take this yellow one and we're gonna drag it all the way over to the left. We're gonna take the green one and drag it all the way to the middle. And we're gonna take the far right one and we're just gonna close in the green one right there. The far right node we're gonna make green. The second node we're gonna make red. Third node we're gonna make red. And the very first node we're gonna make black. So we're gonna make a hex code of zero one zero 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 and we're going to do the same thing with this fourth node right here that's pinched in the middle zero one zero 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 that looks good i'm going to click off of there i'm going to angle my wave at 270 degrees and i'm going to set my width percentage at 300 percent you can mess around with your speed and make it whatever you want i'm going to change mine down to eight that all looks good and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So now before I do anything else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the circle for my white lighting. Once I've selected those keys, I'm going to hit the delete key and what that's going to do is just going to delete out that red and green wave that you created. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our red and green wave and we're going to copy it. Any key that has the red and green wave, you can click on it and you can copy it. Select off so that you're not highlighting any keys. Hold control and we're gonna select out the shape of an M. So now that I've kind of selected out the shape of an M, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in there. So what we have right now is we have the M shape in the middle of our keyboard that's going red and green. And what we really want is for that M shape to light up red. And then when the green comes in, we want the M shape to go away. So for this to happen, what we have to do is we have to select the shape of the M, which is already selected. Click on your color gradient 
And in place of the green, we can go ahead and just put an invisible and hit save. So now when the red comes on, it will highlight with a, a red M. And when the green comes on, the shape will disappear. And real quick to fix something, if you have a razor mouse, go ahead and select the lighting that you did for that mouse and delete it. And we'll go and add lighting to it later. It just messes up timing with your lighting. As you can see in the middle of the keyboard, we have a timing issue. So this is going really slow in here and the whole keyboard is going really fast. <clears throat> and the reason that they're running at different speeds is because this wave effect has a different color gradient than this wave effect. Now this gradient doesn't have a very far distance to cover 300%, whereas this has to cover the whole keyboard in the same amount of time. So this is gonna run a lot slower than the lighting on the whole keyboard. What you have to do to match that timing is you have to copy the one that's red and clear. So you can copy that code. And what we're gonna do is we're going to hold control and we're gonna select something on the far left side. So any one of these keys on the far left and we're gonna select any one of these keys on the far right and we're gonna paste it. So now you can see the M is now in timing with the rest of the keyboard. We can go back later and add another layer to overwrite the gray area that we're seeing here on the ends of the keyboards. So now that we have our M fixed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do the L. Hold control and I'm going to select out the shape of my letter L. Now you see we're gonna have a conflict here because two of my lighted keys are red. So they're not all gray all the time. These two are gonna be red. So with these two keys only, go ahead and copy your original red and green lighting and you can paste that straight into those two keys. So now we want those two keys to go green. The rest of the shape of the L, we're gonna copy the red green lighting and we're gonna go into the rest of the shape of the L and we're gonna paste that in there. But we don't want it to turn red. So the rest of this L shape, we're gonna select it and we're going to get rid of the red and we're gonna make that clear. Once again, we have a timing issue with just the bottom of this L. So we're gonna select those keys and we're gonna copy it and we're gonna go to a different key on the ends of the keyboard. I'm gonna choose this one and I'm gonna choose this one over here and I'm gonna hit paste. So now both the L and the M are on the same timing as the rest of the lighting on the keyboard. So now we just need to go over the ends of the keyboard to hide our timing fix and we're also going to apply our razor mouse. We're gonna select our wave layer and we're going to right click and duplicate the layer. With this new wave layer, I'm just gonna change it to wave one. Copy the red and green lighting and we're going to paste that over our keys that have the gray on the ends. So I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna select these two and these two and I'm gonna paste those in. Now I'm going to select all of the keys on the keyboard except these two that we just changed and I'm gonna delete them out and hit save. Now if you have a razor mouse, what you're gonna do with this new wave layer is you're going to copy the red and green and you're going to paste that over the mouse. But to make it so the timing works out correctly, you're gonna have to change your lighting just a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change this black node here to be 010001. That's all you have to do to make it different and to make the timing different. It's not gonna affect it visually. It just changes the code for it. What I'm gonna do with the razor logo here on my mouse, I'm gonna select it and I'm going to just reverse the color position. So I'm gonna make the front part green and I'm going to make the back part of the lighting red. Just like this, hit save. That way they're alternating. Now if you want audio meter on your mouse as well, what you have to do is right click and duplicate your audio meter layer. Go ahead and select your audio meter effect layer and delete out the rest of the keyboard keys. 
I'm actually going to delete my scroll wheel button as well. So I only have audio meter on my Razer logo. So now you have an audio meter that has priority over your red and green alternating lighting on your mouse. And by allowing your wave pattern to be invisible in the middle, you can now see through to your audio meter layer that is below. And that's all there is to this design. Now all you have to do is apply some music to your keyboard. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. That way you guys are entered in my thousand sub giveaway. The giveaway will take place on July 10th of 2019. Also make your way over to my social media accounts, both Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you guys follow me on there as I'm always posting teasers of upcoming keyboard lighting videos, as well as some other stuff in the gaming community that you guys might be interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.